Hello and welcome to the Chloe Adventure Channel. My name is Craig and today we are doing a demonstration of the new DNT TNC 225R Thermite Scope. And what this is, is this is a, uh, a day-night scope that has thermal built in. And this is the package it comes in. And when you open the box, you get the typical um, manual. You get a DNT cleaning cloth. You get the mounting bracket for the, the rail. You do get a uh, data transfer cable and a Allen wrench and the bag should include four screws but I've used the four screws on the scope already putting them out in there at the bottom and it comes with a eyepiece again this is DNT and DNT has currently sent this to me for a product review and if you remember they sent me the Zulus 5x20 scope and it's basically the same scope only you'll see it has a, an additional uh, lens on the top this lens on the top is actually the day night and this here is the thermal and the uh, it's 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 an all one combined unit I enjoy it I, I cannot tell you uh, I, I can't lie to you uh, I enjoy it it took me a bit getting used to because there's a there's a, a few buttons and you, you gotta remember where they're at and like me I'm doing it at night so I don't have a lot of light I can't see, so I gotta kinda remember where it's at. The unit comes with a rangefinder. This rangefinder here can handle um, distances as close as five yards and as far as away as 1100 yards. It works directly with the ballistic calculator that's built into the scope and for those of you that don't know what the ballistic calculator is or what it does, you put in all the information of your bullet, the size, the speed, the weight, the caliber, it's got a whole list of it. And when you range whatever you're trying to shoot at, it will automatically calculate the drop of the bullet and adjust your crosshairs for that. It, it's, it works it worked on a 22 rifle and it worked on my 22 pellet. I haven't tried anything bigger. Uh, neighbors get really upset when you start blasting off uh, 30, 30 shells in the backyard. Uh, the uh, scope has picture in picture and you can set one of the pictures for the thermal and one of the pictures for the night vision or daytime vision and you can see both pictures at the same time. Now, in my case, that is helpful. I'll show you right here. As I used to have two separate units, my thermal was, a, was not mounted on the scope, so I could find the little mouse running around in the backyard, and by the time I would move, put the scope down, look at it through the night vision I, I couldn't tell you where it was at it ran behind a log I can't find it and it's it's <laughs> you can't do it this here is different this here has two pictures you can see them both at the same time and with a flip of a button you can actually change them back so it, it you see right there it's going from one to the other resolution of, of the unit the day-night vision has a um, go down here. Day-night vision has a 
19 by 20, 1920 by 1080 resolution on the scope. It will record at uh, 1024 by 768. Um, so the, the clarity through your, your viewfinder is a little bit better than what it records, but you've seen some of my pictures already. I, it, it's not that big of a deal. You can see it. I'm happy with it. The thermal, um, this, uh, the digital day night portion of it had is a magnification of five by 20. So that's that the thermal has a magnification of 3 by 12 which I, for me is just absolutely great. Um, I get to see it a little bit closer. They're, they're, the, the mice are not that far away. The thermal sensor is a, 250, is a 256 by 192 um, chip on the inside and with the algorithms they've made the quality, the picture quality just, just incredible um, so that's that's nice there the IR torch here which the back half here is the battery and we'll, we'll take a second it currently right now on the website and this is September of 2024 they are offering a charger two batteries and a, and a charging cable with that comes with the unit um, and again I'm sorry I don't know how long that will last or if they'll make that a, a standard feature that it comes with it but it comes with two batteries and the charger so that came out that's that's real nice to have um, you get approximately five hours on the battery when you're running thermal and night vision or day vision when you turn on the IR it really takes the batteries um, you'll go from about five hours on the battery down to about an hour and a half uh, what I have found and I'll, I'll show you a little later on is instead of using picture-in-picture picture, leave set it for the night vision with the IR torch watch it with the thermal and by hitting this button here you'll flip the picture from one to the other and only use the IR when you're looking at it through the through the night scope so you, you, you leave it in thermal mode you can scan it you can look around you can see the deer you can see the possums um, you can see the mice that's what you're looking for and once you find them, then turn it on if you want the picture-in-picture picture, or if you want the full screen. Um, but if, you, if you're not using, if you're not viewing the night vision with the IR turned on, um, you're not using up the batteries as much. The IR has, I believe it's four different levels of brightness. Um, for what I'm shooting, I can shoot to the back of my backyard, which is 130 yards, and I can leave it on low power and still be able to see it. It has a variable focus. If you turn the knob here, you can actually focus the IR lens down to um, a point. Again, I'll show you that in a video right here, whereas I turn it. It actually goes down a little bit uh, tighter and as I zoom in you can see that the, the picture looks pretty good. It has a built-in 32 gig storage. There is no external card slot on this unit here. I thought that would be a problem but working with the DNT app along with this it it works absolutely fantastic it downloads the pictures really quick you're not waiting around and you now have it I've on the old Zulus I always thought it was convenient to pop the card out run in the house 
uh, look at the pictures, that kind of stuff. And then in, in the morning, I would head back out to go play with the scope and forgot the card in the house, have to go back in. This way here, I have set up my phone to be able to read it when I take a, when I take a shot that I want recorded I grab the phone hit the uh, pictures tell it to download and it takes very little time to download it. it it's I found it much more convenient to put it on the phone right away and depending on what kind of backup service you have it automatically backs that up um, so you know Google or iCloud, that kind of stuff, it'll automatically back that picture up so you have it saved. So once it, once it's saved, you can go through and format the storage on the on the unit. That was that was the the app is real nice. We'll go over that in the second part of this video. It comes with a three gimbal gyroscope in it. I'm not sure what the third one is. I know that when you're in the ballistics, it will handle uh, angling up and down, and it will also handle tilting. Uh, you're, you're sitting on the side of a hill, and it, it's angled. With the uh, gyroscope, it will send all that information to the ballistics calculator, and again, readjust for the angle of the bullet from whatever angle your rifle is shooting at. The unit has zero shot, um, one shot zeroing, I'm sorry, uh, one shot zeroing, and that is you take a shot, just aim at something, take a shot, go into one shot zeroing, put the crosshairs on what you were shooting at, and then hit the button, move the crosshairs to where that bullet actually hit, save it, and the next time you shoot it, it'll go to where the, the, the crosshairs are at. You can go through if you want, you can fine tune it once you get it nice and close. You can keep fine tuning it and is as, in as, as accurate as the gun is, it'll be right there. But um, working with the ballistic calculator, it does work. You can, you can see it as you change the distances. You'll watch the crosshairs go up or down depending on the arc of the bullet. It is waterproof um, to the I-67 standard, which means you can get it caught in the rain, a good thunderstorm, and again, you can't fall in the creek with it and expect, your, expect it to be um, completely sealed. So that there. The top here, uh, I, just, I just remembered, this is your focus now for the night vision, day vision. This would be the focus for the thermal, and this would be your eyepiece focus. We will go into, when we get into the app, we will go into all the buttons that are, the, that are there. So for now, we're going to stop this section. We're going to go into the app, and then we're going to have a whole new video on just the ballistics calculator. Stay tuned, we're going to the app.